Hello lovely people, good morning and um, yeah it's morning in my area, that's when I'm making this video but you probably see this video in your area when it's probably in the afternoon or in the evening or in the morning as well so yeah. <laughs> I really don't feel like it but it is um it is what it is you've got to work you've got bills to pay so i pray this day that um lines will fall for me in pleasant places today in the name of jesus and that nothing should take my joy away from me today and i want to see if i can i've never really actually put um sat down to say this is how much i will spend for the family in terms of food this week or logistics whatever so i'm gonna try doing that and i will take you guys along i'm gonna see how much i can spend for one week to get food for the house and then transport myself to work obviously it's going to be transportation aspect is going to be buying petrol and putting in my car come along with me let's let's go on this journey together friends i'm done with work and i'm just here to pick up a few items from the supermarket aldi um, friends i'm done with um shopping i actually did make a list <laughs> to go into aldi and um i only spent 26 pounds 58p when i get home i'm going to show you the things i got for that 26 pounds 58p i was shopping strictly based on my project and i didn't buy everything i needed to buy that was on my list and that's because i, I don't I, I need to sit down and plan properly but i need to go to um the african shop or the african grocer to get some um things from there that I would need I'm not going to do that today I will do it maybe on Monday after work then I will show you then I can't say exactly how much I have spent on um, or how much I intend to spend on food for the week I also did something spectacular I did this uh, meal planner while I was at while I was at work I just came up with this I will show it to you guys later in detail and I'm hoping that we'll be able to stick to this um, this planner and I wrote at the end at the bottom end there that I need us all to stick to this meal plan for this week you know this is me telling everybody <laughs> we have to it's crunch time and we have to make do and and be serious I have to be serious about this now I'm gonna take you guys along with me we can do this together so I'm back to the house and I am going to show us everything I got from from Aldi everything that was on my list with the exception of um, one item or let me say two item which is um, if you're if you've been on this channel long enough you would know that when it's um, towards Christmas I do not joke with me with a um, pig in blanket every time I go shopping towards Christmas I must make sure I buy a pig in blanket it wasn't on my list but I got it today because I saw it in the supermarket and this is what I will keep doing until it's Christmas time what I do is to build my stock of pig in blanket because I love I love eating them I could snack on them I can eat make them as a side on any meal I wish to have at at home so I'm going to show you everything and I think I'm really really proud of myself I'm only hoping and praying that I'll be able to stick to this meal plan so that I don't so that I can keep track of my expenses of how much I exactly spend on food in this house. This list I made and the things I've bought today is me being very modest. But I know when it comes to shopping and spending, I am not modest. And that's why I always want my, my daughter around with me. But she wasn't with me today. But I can tell you that I did a good job. <laughs> Even if I say so myself, I can pat myself on the back and say, yes, Mina, you did a fantastic job. So I'm just going to unpack and show you the things and I'll tell you how much each of the items I bought from the store cost me. 
bear in mind that I will go back to the store on Monday, to the African grocer on Monday and pick up a few items as well that I will need for, for the week with the exception of um, palm oil and um, vegetable oil or granite oil. I have that one in stock. I think I would also have to check if I have enough rice at home. If not, I need to buy that one. But the things that I basically would need for this week are the things I'm just going to shop for and see how much I'm able to save at the end of, of the week. And I hope that everybody in my house, every member of this household, the worthy household, will cooperate with me on this um, on this adventure because i call it an adventure and i'm doing it with the help and support of you my friends so we're going to start off i bought bread i bought two packs of bread for each pack each of these is 74p and i got a pack of um bag of onion red onions this onion went for 95p I got, uh, what is it called? I got potatoes for, I got potatoes for 125p. And I got passetta. Where is the passetta? Yeah. I got this it's, uh, tomato sauce. I got this, I just bought only two. One was uh, 55p. And the next thing on my list, which I already told you guys about, is my Christmas table, my pig in blanket. This was not part of my, it was not on my list, but I have bought it anyway. And it's $1.99 for each pack. Each pack is $1.99. I got chopped tomatoes. I got chopped tomatoes, um, 39p chopped tomato 39p and I got four of it I got eggs two pound 35 eggs for two pound 35 and um, I got my chicken wings I got two packs of chicken wings each pack was 199 I got pasta Pasta pen or penny, whatever, however you pronounce it. This was 69p, and I got chicken ties. I got one pack of chicken ties for two pounds 85p. Beef meat balls I got for four pound 29p. And I got my double cream. I got two. I got two, and each one was going for one pound five p. So yeah, this and everything came down to twenty six pounds fifty eight p. But I believe if I take off the pig in blanket, if I take off this because it wasn't part of my my original list, and um, what you have spent. Minus this twenty six pound fifty eight p minus minus three pound ninety eight p. I'll do the math and I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on the screen for us to see. So that's what I have spent so far for this week. I have um, the hard chicken in my freezer. That's not so. This week spending it's not going to be a true reflection of how much I actually spend in a week. Because I have some things at home. I do have some things at home that I would not need to. Let me just adjust this um, this thing. I have some things at home that I am not going to buy this week. So this is not going to be a true reflection of how much exactly I spend in a week. But it is a pointer for me. It makes me, it gives me an idea of how much I am spending because truly I don't keep track of um, my expenses and it's not right. It's really, really not, not right. Anyway, that's all right. So, um, I will show you the things I will buy on Monday and, and then 
I want to do this on a weekly basis. Um, I will show you the meal planner at some point. And I will also try and see how I can proper, proper, do a proper meal prep. But remember, this is not, um, this is something that I have sat down and thought about it and I want to do it intentionally for myself. And, you know, and um, I, I believe that it's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. I really, really want to do that now so that I can keep track of how much I'm spending because I know my salary does not change every month. So I need to know when, it, when I get my monthly pay, this is how much that is going to go for food and nothing is going to happen to that. You know, there shall be no, um, whatever, I don't know what to call it, but the whole thing is I've got to be doing something. I have to be intentional now. I have to be intentional. So I'll see you when I get back from the shop on Monday. friends and um, it's tuesday night I'm back from work i went shopping as against going on monday i did promise i was going to go back shopping on monday but it was not just possible for me to do that so here is um this is the receipt 53 pounds 52 p from the asian grocer that i went shopping after work i i bought all of these as part of my Part of the meal plan that I made, but I'm not going to exhaust, you know, some of the food items I got here. I will not exhaust like this crushed chili. I'm going to use it more than <laughs> more than this week, so it's going to be, last me probably like a month. You know, I got plantain, four fingers of plantain. For I initially wanted to use it in making. Um, like bole, but I changed my mind and I got um, pepper or scotch bonnet that was two pounds. Agari was eight pounds ninety nine. Two tubers of yam for five pounds. Plantain chip one pound twenty. Just to indulge myself. Curry one pound twenty. I got two of those. And, and Maggie cubes for one pound ninety nine. I got this can of malt seventy five feet, so that's one pound fifty for the two. And then I went to the second shop, the butchers, and I got um I got meat. That's meat. This meat here is sixteen pounds, and I got tripe and. Um, for more cow skin, twelve pounds. And this is from a, a separate shop. Then I bought mackerel. This is mackerel here. Three of it for six pounds. Let me find it. This mackerel from the Asian shop was six pounds for this three. It's quite big. And then I got the tripe. And the cow skin and my meat. All of this, this three here is 28 pounds. 28 pounds plus 50, is it 52 or 53 pounds? So I've spent like almost 75 pounds today at the African grocer for this week. And then when we add what I spent in Aldi, that's 26 pounds something. So you're looking at roughly 100 pounds I have, I'm going to spend this week i'm saying 100 pounds because i know i will still buy some uh, items don't forget that this gary will last me more than one week i did not know if i mentioned that i bought this agagi bread oh, sweet bread abuja bread very nice i love eating this so yeah this is what i have spent for just this week and um i thought i should share with you is a family of five because um, the sixth person in the family does not live with us so we're down to five and this is what 
I am going to spend. This is me being very, very frugal here. Very, very frugal. And I think it's the best. I need to start doing that now. Our hearts beat to the city streets. We began to feel.